Hi guys, it's Joanne from 15 Spatulas. Today I'm gonna to show you a really easy recipe for homemade caramel corn. This is a really great snack to make the next time you're watching a movie, or your favorite TV show at home. So I've got the oven preheated to 250 Fahrenheit and I've got 10 cups of popcorn here. You can either make some on the stove top and I've got a video for that, or you can just do the microwave bagged popcorn. So to get our caramel mixture going, I'm gonna turn my heat to medium. I'm gonna add in one cup of packed dark brown sugar, one stick of unsalted butter, a quarter cup of light corn syrup, and a teaspoon of sea salt. We're gonna let this dissolve and bring this mixture to a boil. The mixture's come to a boil, so I'm gonna let this continue to cook for another five minutes. My caramel mixture is a deep golden brown and it's pulling away from the sides of the pan. So I'm gonna turn off my heat. And what happens next happens very quickly. I'm gonna add in a quarter teaspoon of baking soda to the caramel and it's gonna make it foam up like crazy. That's gonna help it coat the popcorn a little bit easier. So quarter teaspoon of baking soda in. Give that a stir. And I'm gonna drizzle that all over my popcorn. Stir that in. At some point when you're stirring the popcorn, you'll notice the caramel will harden and won't be able to spread all over the popcorn anymore. So that's where our oven time comes in. We're gonna dump this out onto a sheet pan and we're gonna throw this into our oven for about 15 minutes to let the caramel warm up and then we're gonna stir it again. My popcorn has been in the oven for 15 minutes and the caramel softened up again. So I'm just gonna toss this around, help spread that caramel around a little bit better. And I think this needs one more 15 minute session in the oven and we're gonna give it another stir. When you pull your popcorn out of the oven, you wanna spread it out onto a piece of parchment paper, wax paper, or a sill pat, just so it doesn't stick and harden to the sheet pan and spread it out and let it cool. Once your popcorn has finished cooling, you can just transfer it to a bowl and it is ready to eat. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a taste. Mmm, it's crunchy. It's got a deeply rich caramel flavor. It's so good. So you can get this full recipe in the description box below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe before you go and I'll see you next time. Bye.